All right, I'm going to try this. We got this stupid, crappy, wobbly tripod and my good camera. So, okay. I'm going to troubleshoot some problems that people on YouTube have been having with the PS3. So, time to clear out all these phones. You haven't seen the last of that. Let me get the camera adjusted. This is an experiment to see if I can reproduce some of the problems that YouTubers have been throwing at me. And basically, I've responded to them with my best guess or just flat out, I don't know. Um, Basically, it's the problem where you try to insert a disc and absolutely nothing happens, even though you, even though it looks like you've done everything right. Well, I'm going to try and reproduce that problem today. So, I got to plug in my PS3. I can find the cord. Whoops. That's fine. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, nothing happens now. Thinks there's a disc inside. Okay, I'm going to try and I'm going to try and disconnect the big data cable and try my little experiment again. The data cable is disconnected. I'll just put it back and reconnect this power cord for the drive. Power the system back on. Aha. Uh -huh. That seems to confirm my suspicion. With the data cable disconnected, nothing happened, even though I don't have the disk sensor in. And now nothing happens when uh, I close these two switches to simulate this thing spreading out. 
because you know when this I can't show it on the video but on the other side of here when the arms spread out the little plastic underneath engages these two switches right here where my finger is and really the, the transport motor is supposed to roll when those switches are closed because I'll turn off the system again oh wait sorry there we go I'll put the data cable back in and make sure it's aligned properly put everything back in and fire up the system yeah see now we're rolling it'll time out and I'm gonna simulate a disc being pushed in nothing happens when I close this uh, left switch here but when I close the I close the left switch and then I close the right switch things start rolling I'll just simulate it being drawn in and then I'll simulate an eject by hitting eject and waiting until it disengages and then releasing these two switches always wait until it, it fully disengages and let the let the transport roll for a little bit before you take your finger off of these two switches that's to simulate the transport coming down and then the disc popping out so that was a short but sweet experiment I think the solution for this for the I've got my power ca cable uh, connected and everything seems to be right and I did the loader alignment and I did the, the optical drive top and this and that but still nothing happens when I put a disc in I think the solution to that is uh, something's wrong with the data cable because that's the only way I've been able to reproduce the problem even though I've got good power all my mechanics are lined up and nothing else is wrong no switches are broken none of the tops of these switches are broken or nothing's wrong with the system electrically or anything like that and the power supply is good and all the parts in here in this disk insertion driver whatever the heck you want to call it all these parts are good um, so the yeah the result of that this experiment is uh, check your data cable on the bottom check it at the drive and at the main board end to see that it's connected properly um, because that's what it looks that's what the problems looks like it, I disconnected it and I got the nothing happens symptom so hopefully that helps people